Mullen is testing the all-time lows very soon, it looks like. We are almost down to the all-time low, and this is exactly what I was concerned about the last couple days, is us breaking the 786 level, coming down to the new, the old all-time low, and then breaking that and going even lower to a 13 or even 11 cents. I went on X today and I wanted to see who's buying Molin if it hits 11 cents because it's definitely possible when looking at a Fibonacci, it's definitely possible because Molin is very negative right now and what's to say it doesn't crash even lower. It's been crashing every day this week and I think I'm gonna make a video of the news Molin puts out over the last six months and what has happened after that news breaks because what did they do this week? They dropped news about Mark Basil, who's fighting for them, and the stock is crashing down. That hasn't been helping. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna help in the long term, but it hasn't been helping in the short term. They delivered class three vehicles. The stock has been dropping lower, okay? So there was a pump and then a dump. We pumped to 21 cents from lows of like 14 and a half, and now we're dumping, trading at 15 and a half cents today. You just look at this Mullen, 15 and a half cents down 5% today. Down below me to the side, we just crashed down this morning. Now we're just trading flat. It's definitely manipulated. This is absolutely insane. We haven't touched the all-time low, but who's to say tomorrow's Friday that we don't touch the all-time low tomorrow and we go even lower, we break it, right? That's kind of what the trend is looking like. I know we, we want it to move up, but you can see the, the open was at 17. The high was at 17 and then it started crashing down. The low is 15.1. So getting very low to the all-time bottom, the volume is 46 million on the day, very high volume. The market cap is about 64 million, which is just insane, right? Now I did get a response from Brad today. I said, morning, how was your trip? He was out of town actually um, earlier this week. Good, just got back. It's been a busy day. Just got off the fifth call of the day. Every manufacturer is having one today. So I just got to the point, asked him the question. Oh man, do you have a number for class three that was delivered to you guys by chance for Mullen? Have not got that far today so it sounds like maybe brad can't say the actual number he's not been answering my questions like he used to not really sure what's going on there but we still don't have a number of how many class three were actually delivered to randy marion from mullen automotive again just red flags going off right now it's very unfortunate with what's going on with this stock we literally have six trading days left tomorrow and five days next week until the meeting because it's next Friday, which is very scary being on a Friday. What do you think is gonna happen from here? So until this third reverse stock split is figured out, I do believe Mullen, when they put out news, it is to pump and dump the news. It's shown. And I think I might make a video. Let me know down below if you want me to make a video, a very detailed video. It's gonna take me a lot of time to put it together, but of the news that they put out and what the stock price has done after that news was put out let's say for the next couple days to seven days. Let me know down below if you want that. Don't forget to drop a like, would always appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And of course, guys, if you wanna join the Patreon, I just put out a bunch of crypto information. Um, crypto is actually pretty easy to read and easy to trade, and I'm gonna start doing it. You know, My goal is to turn $10,000 into 100 to $200,000 over the next two years minimum with the cryptos that I choose, and I'm gonna be trading in and out of them using different indicators. So if you are into crypto, if you wanna learn more about that, make sure you join my bronze tier down below. Click on the Patreon, we'll see you in there. Not financial advice, so you buy, sell any cryptos or stocks. It's just my own opinion with what I'm looking at. Have a great day.